Also, you can take advantage of our 23 online churches wow 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 which are available in all the major languages of india and apart from that we have three special churches one is for teenagers called tufani and gyani teens one is for children online children church and apart from that we have a special program for deaf and dumb apart from that you can watch them in odia telugu tamil gujarati kannada tullu english hindi Chhattisgadi, Rathuri Bareli, Assamese, Marathi, Punjabi, Nepali, Konkani, Malayalam, Sindhi, Bhojpuri, Bengali and in Malwani. Thank you, God bless you. Hallelujah. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Woo! And because I know that he holds my future, hallelujah. And life is worth a living just hallelujah. Because he lives. I can face tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone because I know he holds my future and life is worth a living chance because he lives. Because he lives. Yes, I can face tomorrow. I can face tomorrow. Ha, because he lives. All fear is All gone fear now. Is gone. And because I know because that he holds my future. He holds my future. And life is worth a living chance. Because he lives And life is worth a living just Because he lives Life is worth a living just Because he lives Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I welcome you for today's midweek service. Lift up your holy hands. Pray after me in tongues fervently. Pray and thanks to the Lord for the last week. Pray for today's midweek service. Hallelujah. Really bazanta. Rele ahanta la bazonto ko shekhali anta. Re ali zende gaziga rele bazanda. O really ma ahanta ala zende karele ahaza. O lishi te kasa la bazondo go rele kata. O rele bazanta la bazonto ko shekhali karele azanda. Li bazanta kasa la bazonto korele ahaza. 
mahanta O rili bazanta kasak na basyontro Pray pray in tongues for ventli li bazanta kasak hare azanta O rili bazanta kasak hare le bazanta le manta re le hata O rili bazanta thanks to the Lord for your last week li gare la bazonto Rili bazanta kla bazonto ro bazenta la bazonto koshe kali gare le gara O rili bazonto kosi la bazonto ro bazanta kase kala bazonto Rili hata kase kala bazonto mantra Koli gara la gazete kasi kali ara ale bazanta alete alata ala zat kazika Rili shata kase kala bazonto pray for today's midweek service Li gare le bazanta Santa Gazala Bashon to Koseka. Thank him for today's midweek service. Li Karele Anta. Rele Bazon to Tarbazente Kasekla Bazon through. Thank him, thank to the law. Li Bazente Alete Karela Bazon to Rele Hanta Arele Hata. Koli Kare Ali Bazon to Koseka. Rele Bazon to Koseka Li Karala Hata. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So our first prayer point is 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 to 4 GNT translation says First of all, then I urge that petitions, prayers, requests and thanksgiving be offered to God for all people, for kings and all others who are in authority that we may live a quiet and peaceful life with all reverence toward God and with proper conduct. Hallelujah. This is good and it pleases God, our Savior, who wants everyone to be saved and to come to know the truth. Hallelujah. Declare that the word of God grows and multiplies in all nations, undeterred by all satanic machinations of ungodly men. All nations are open to the gospel and many more souls are being won to the Lord daily hallelujah so lift up your holy hands pray in tongues fervently according to this prayer point li anta arela bazonto sete kasile bazonto rili bazanta kasal bazonto ko shek li pashoto rili manta bazonto ko shek li bazanta bazonto rili bazanta kasal bazonto bazente rili anta arela bazonto ko shek bazonto le shete kasika rili anta ala bazonto ko seli shata rele bazar rele bazar rele bazonto gozila bazanda rele man Trabezonto ko shek la bezonto kal bezanta really man probezanta la bezonto ko shek la bezdinte really atra bezantra bezontro really hantra alazete kasiga really bezantra bezanta la bezonto gozig la bezontro praying tongues for eventually according to this prayer point li karala bezanta li bezonto ko shek la bezonto ko saga really karala bezonto ko shek la bezonto ko sende really man trabezanta kasal bezonto ko Rele kata, rele hata rabazonto ko sengare handa, rele kata kasiga, rele aza le kare le pata ko zondo, really mantra, le kara rabazontro bazantra bazantra kala bazontro le shata kasega, li bazantra rabazonto ko shega, rele kata kasega, rele hantra bazon. Trole bazantra, li karela bazonto ko sega la bazanta ka zenga la bazindi kaziga. Rele karela bazonto ore anda rele andra alizi tika sega. Rele kara bazonto ko sega bazonto ko relenga rele garre. Alzente ka sega bazonto ko shekla bazanta ka salva shontro. Rili mantra bazanta ka salva shonto ko seka liga. Rele kara bazonto ko shenga rele ka sega. Rele kari bazonto ko shekla bazanta ka sega. Really bazanta kaze bashonto ko sega Really karili bazonto ko zila bazanta la bazonto Really mantra bazonto ko shena manshato ko sili bashete Kasila bazonto ko zoko re ata Really mantra bazonto re bazinte kasika la bazonto bashetre Really mantra bazonto ko shek la bazonto Oh hallelujah 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 So our second prayer point is We are praying for our mission 1 billion 100 crores Souls reach out by 31st December 2021. We are praying for the increased grace. We are praying that effective doors of ministry are open unto us. We have ever increasing ministry. Pray that power of God is working with us. According to the 
prophecies in Jesus name amen hallelujah so lift up your holy hands pray in tongues fervently according to this prayer point hallelujah oh really bazanta ka sakba shonto really bazanta la bazonto ko shela bazinte ka seka really bazanta la bazonto ko shekla bazonto ko shili gara la bazantra li bazonto ko la bazanto yes the lord jesus li bashoto ko seka they are la bazonto ko they are walking now visions li bashoto ko seka the son of our visions li bashoto ko sir bazonto they are the children of our vision li bashoto ko sikla bazonto they are bazon they are excited they are excited to preach your gospel in the name of Lord Jesus Christ really bazanta really hatara bazon to ko sheka liga really antra ala bazon to ko sele bazon to ko sele kara ala bazon to really mantra bazon to ko sele bazon to pray 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 in tongues for eventually li bazantra pray according to this prayer point li kara ala bazon to ko seka really bashata ka sala bazon to ko rele kara ala bazanta really ka ahata ala bazon to ko rele anda Rele bazanta, rele kara bazonto ko shekla bazonto, really mantra bazanta la sheta ka sikla bashontro, rele kara bazonto ko shela bazontro le bazanta ka sheka, rele mantra bazanta le bazonto ko sheka li garele kata ka sega, rele kara bazonto ko sikla bazanta aleka alaka alaka ele, are la bazonto ko rele kata ka sala bashontro, li bazanta le bazanta le bazonto ko sheka li zinte, really pasata kala bazonto Corele ahant ala bazande gala bazondro li bashondro li karele kara la bazanda gazle bazanda le re kari la 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 re li bazondo corele kara la bazondo koshi la bazanta la bazente really mantra bazanta le bashoto kor pre la bazente praying chants praying chants for ventli really bazanta kasaka really karele antra bazente kasil bazondro really mantra bazanta la bazondo koshi kali karele ga really hata Bazon to ko sheka la zinte ka saga rele hantra bazanta la bazon to ko shele mantra li bazantra bazanta la bazon to rele hatra bazon to rele bazinte la bazantra bazon to ko sheka bazontro rele mantra la bazon to rele ahanta la zanta ka saga rele bazantra bazon to ko sheka la bazontro la bazentre oh hallelujah 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 so our uh, third prayer point is first timothy 2 verse 4 says who will have all men to be saved and to come until the knowledge if the truth. Pray for the unsaved families, friends, neighbors to receive salvation and that they come to the knowledge of the truth. Hallelujah. Pray that they are receiving Jesus as their Lord and Savior. So pray according to this prayer point. Lift up your holy hands. Rain turns for eventually. Harala bazon to ko shake bazon to. Really bazan ta la bazon to ko shala bazende. Pray for your neighbors, for your friends. Really bazon to ko shake bazon to bazende. That they are getting saved in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Really bazon to bazon to. The souls has been saved. Really bazan ta ka sal bazon to. Really mantra bazon to ko shake bazon to bazon to ko shake bazon to. Really mantra bazon to ko shake bazon to bazon to ko shake bazon to. Really mantra bazon to ko shake bazon to bazon to ko shake bazon to. Really mantra bazon to kosi yara la bazon to kosi le bazon to. Really mantra bazan ta la bazon to koshe kala bazon to. Really hata la bazon to koshi la bazon to. Really bazon to pray for your friends, for your families, for your neighbors la bazon to koshi le bazon to. Pray that they are getting saved in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Really bazon to. They are getting saved. Their souls has been getting saved in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Really bazon to. Really mantra bazon to koshe kala bazon to koshi yara la ba. Really kara bazon to kore le antra ala zan. Mantra ala bazantra bazonto kosi le bazentro. Really mantra bazontro bazinte. Li bashoto kose ka li bashontro. Really bazata. Really kara bazontro koli shiti ka si ka really ahantra. Really kara bazontro bashantra. Rolo shoto koshi ka la bazantra. Li mantra. Li mantra le bantra le mantra la bazontro la bazantra. Really kara la bazonto ko o si ka la bazantra. Really mantra. Li bashonto ko se ka li bashontro ko si ka rala. Really bazanta la bazonto ko she ka Bazantra, Rolle Antra, Alantra, Alantra, Rimantra Bazonto, Koshena Manzantra, Bazinte Casilo Bazonto, Rele Cara Antra, Aleche Tacasi, Carata Carabazondro, Bazantra, Bazente Casica, Rele Cata Casica, Relega, Goro Gori Bazata Calabazonto, Corelega, Antra Antra, Antra Antra, Arele Bazata, Orele Bazata, La Bazata, La Bazata, La Bazata, La Bazato, Cosic, 
Shika Relega, Relega Rabazon Toko Sheka Liga Rela Bazandra, Rela Bazandra 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 Bazandra, Kerete Karata Rabazon Toko Sheka Liga Relega, Relega Relega Rela Bazata Kalabazontro, Liba Shoto Koseka Relega, Relega Rabazandra Bazon Toko Sheka Liga Releba, Releba Ahareva Shete Casilla Bazandra, Rela Bazandra Balabala Bazandra Glabazondro Glabaza, Rela Krabazon Toko Sheba Santra Bazon Toko Shiklabaza, Rela Krabazon Toko Sierra Bazantra Bazontro. Rele carra a hazela bashontro bazantra Rele carra la bazonto koshi la bazanta la bazonto koshi la bazantra Rele carra la bazonto koshi yaraga Rele antra ala zantra ala zantra ala zantra ala zantra Rele carra la bazo Rele bazo tra basho tra basha tra basha tra basho Rele carra bazonto koshi la bazantra bazonto koshi la bashontro Oh hallelujah 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 Lord, we thank you. We worship you. We honor you. Oh, Lord, thank you, Lord. Whatever we have prayed, Lord, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we have prayed, Lord Jesus. We have received the answers of our prayers, oh, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, we have received our answers, oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, thank you. We thank you. We worship you. We honor you, Lord Jesus. We honor you. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. In the Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. So this is the time of our worship. So we will clap our hands and welcome our choir. belong to you Alpha and Omega the beginning and the end our lives belong to you worthy of a glory to you our hands we raise our lives belong Omega, the beginning and the end, our lives belong to you. Lord, you're worthy of glory, worthy of a glory, to you I have we raise, our lives belong to you. For our lives belong to you. Hallelujah. We sing praises for our lives belong to you. We give to you all the worship, all praise, all glory. Because you are worthy of ah. For our lives belong to you We sing hallelujah to you We glorify your name We sing praises For our lives belong to you Omega, the beginning and the end, our lives belong to you. Worthy of a glory, to you our hands we raise, our lives belong to you. Belong to you. We sing hallelujah. 
belong to you alone yes alone our lives our lives our lives belong to you Lord. Oh, you are alpha and omega god the beginning and the end and the end and our lives belong to you our lives belong to you Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's Rhapsody time. Reality time. Rhapsody of realities is that daily devotional that prepares you for the day and also prepares the day for you. Today's reading by Pastor Chris Soyaki Lome for Wednesday, the 6th of September, 2021 is your life is shaped by your thoughts today's opening verse has been taken from the book of proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 which says keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life now pastor chris says it's not every thought that comes to you that is from god the only way you know the source of your thoughts is through the light of god's word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. It's very important what you think about and how you think because your life is shaped by your thoughts. Our theme was in the Good News Translation says, be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. Hallelujah. Screen and filter your thoughts. Mount garrison over your heart because out of your heart are the issues of life. You have to be the policeman of your heart. Take charge of your heart. Don't allow every thought. Allow only God's thoughts, righteous thoughts, and thoughts of love in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. The Bible specifically lets us know the kind of thoughts to allow. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. And this scripture we just read is from Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. You are the character of your thoughts. What you think about you become glory to God the Lord Jesus actually related this in his teachings in a most enlightening way in Matthew chapter 5 from verses 27 to 28 he said ye have heard that it was said by them of old time that thou shalt not commit adultery but I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her had committed adultery with her already in his heart. Your thoughts can deliver to you a glorious life or keep you on the sidewalk of life. If you'd let the word dominate your thinking, it will create the right thoughts in you and give you the right mindset. You think victory, success, dominion, and possibilities only. Praise the Lord. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. When your thoughts are consistent with the word, your life will be a reflection of his glory, for the glory is in the word. So, discipline your mind to accept only the right thoughts. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now it's time for prayer, so I invite all of you to please close your eyes, lift up your holy hands, and please pray after me. Dear Father, I consciously think the right thoughts and meditate only 
on things that are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, of a good report, virtuous and praiseworthy. Therefore, I fulfill all your plans for me by your word and I make my way prosperous and walk in absolute victory. In Jesus' name, Amen. For further study, you can please read Romans chapter 12 verse 2 and 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 15. This you can read from the Amplified Classic Translation. If you are following the one year Bible reading plan, you can read 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verses 2 to 16 and Proverbs chapters 22 and 23. If you're following the two year Bible reading plan, you can read Luke chapter 21 from verses 29 to 38 and 1 Samuel chapter 27. Thank you so much and God bless you. My name is Basilica Marshan. I am 52 years old. I come from London, Ontario in Canada. The reasons that brought me to the healing school, I've been diagnosed with a, a chronic lower back pain. My L4 and 5 are deteriorating the joints. When I came to Canada in 2001, um, I started having severe pain in my back. Uh, the pain continued every year and because of the nature of the job that I do, I am a support worker. I do also a lot of lifting. So the pain grew worse by the time. Uh, so I went to my doctor and um, I was sent for an MRI test. So the result was that I had two joints in my back, my L4 and 5, um, they call it a disease. So they gave me injections, steroid injections to my back to help ease the pain. But because it's temporary, I have to continue uh, taking pain medication. Uh, because of the pain, uh, the doctor recommended that I can have um, a back support, which I wear um, within the house or when I'm going out. If I go without it, uh, the pain is crucial and sometimes I cannot I cannot stand as much as I would like to uh, when I don't have these braces on me. I go for physiotherapy and massage therapy. Uh, now I'm going every week. I have massage once a week and um, physio once a week. Because of this condition, I have been um, on long-term disability from 2012, uh, November of 2012. I cannot support my children as I used to. I cannot do the activities that I used to do, um, the normal life activities, I cannot. Sometimes I cannot walk, I cannot bend, even washing dishes. I have to lean on the counter to wash um, dishes or cook for my children. I want God to heal me from all the pain that I have from the top of my head to the, the sole of my feet. I believe that the man of God, Pastor Chris, can heal me through the power of God that God has bestowed on him. In need of a divine transformation in her life, Basilica made her way to the healing school. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 10 and verse 1, And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. This is the healing school, and people have gathered from different parts of the world to witness and partake of the healing power of God. Filled with compassion and the love of Christ, the man of God, Pastor Chris, ministered healing to the sick, and all conditions bowed to the name of Jesus. The man of God got to Basilica. He laid his hands on her forehead, and she fell under the power of the Holy Ghost. Wow, Basilica is rejoicing for her miracle. Praise God. We have the life of God which cannot be cut up. Very soon. Cannot be cut up very soon. Because church was not supposed to get sick ever. Church, the message of the message to the church is that they have divine life. Praise the Lord.
Jesus said, not mine, but thine be done. Do you ask God that what you are doing, should you be doing it or not? Many don't have that consciousness. God wants you to live according to his will. Bible says those who are living, they should not live for themselves, but to him for, for, for who died for them and who has purchased them. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for children. I speak health. I speak healing in their bodies in the name of Jesus. I command that demon of darkness to leave them in the name of Jesus Christ. Of Christ. I command those unclean spirits to come out of them in the name. My help, my ever present help, oh Mahindra, my counselor, my advocate. Yes, I worship you. I worship you. You are the fire in me. You are the power at work. In me, you are my ever present helper, Holy Spirit. I adore you. Are the fire, you are the fire in me, you are the power, you are the power. Oh, precious Holy Spirit, I adore you. I adore you. Precious Holy Ghost, I worship you. I worship you. Precious Holy Ghost, Your glory fills my heart. Precious Holy Ghost, Precious Holy Ghost, I worship, I worship You. I glorify You. Yes, I worship You. You are precious. Your glory fills my heart. Sing, you are the fire in me. Hey. You are the fire in me. You are the power that work in me. You are the power that work in me. You are my ever present helper, Holy Spirit. I adore you. You are the fire. You are the fire in me. Yeah. Uh -huh. You are the power at work in me. You are my ever present helper, Holy Spirit, I love Precious Holy Ghost, Precious Holy Ghost, I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. Precious Holy Ghost, Your glory fills my heart. Oh, 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 oh precious Holy Ghost, I worship and I worship. You. 
a great God. Thank Him from the bottom of your hearts for all the great things He has done in you, through you and for you. Yes, Father. We say thank you. Our hearts are filled with gratitude towards you, Lord. For all you are to us, O Lord. Thank you for the honor to be known by your name. Thank you, Father, for the love which is beyond comprehension. Thank you for the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Thank you for the direction. Yes. Thank you for the salvation. Thank you, Father, for making us light in this dark world. Thank you. For your show word in this unsure world. Thank you, Father. We hold on to your word because we know your word is truth. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We say our hearts and minds are open to hear and receive from you. Thank you, Father. And in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Please be seated. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you shout glory? This is a month of celebration in the year of preparation. Praise the Lord. And I hope you are preparing. Praise the Lord. And we continue to understand the message which God has given to us through our man of God and Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. You know, whatever God gives you, your first responsibility is to understand what God has given to you. Many a time, people don't take out time to understand what has come into their hands, what God has done for them. Praise the Lord. As I said, they are so accustomed to their way of living, they fail to see the divine intervention of God in their lives. Praise the Lord. Look at the birth of Jesus. The world was in chaos. The world was looking for a solution. And then Jesus came as a divine intervention of God in humanity to save humanity and humanity could not even recognize it. Praise the Lord. <laughs> And that question of Jesus, what men say I am, was quite profound. Because Jesus wanted to know whether they have understood him or not. Praise the Lord. <laughs> because if you don't understand what God has given to you, you will miss it. So when the message of the year has come to you, what has been your reaction? What have you done? <laughs> when Pastor gave the message on that 31st night, I didn't sleep. I didn't go home to sleep. I was meditating on the message. But that's who I am. When God gives me something, I like to know what is in the package. Because God lives in eternity. God himself is eternity. Am I right? God is eternity. So, from eternity, only eternity can come out. Praise the Lord. <laughs> So when God gives me something, it must have 
eternal value and it is it will be my wisdom to understand the value of that eternal entity which has been given to my trust praise the lord is very very important i'm telling you your attitude towards the word of god i have a very different attitude for the word of god even when i'm talking to you and you quote the word of god i say wow that's beautiful and i'm meditating on it because word of god has no pastor am i right word of god comes from your mouth or from my mouth is the word of god praise the lord so it's very very important you always take out time to understand what god gives you your assignment ideas um prophecies um i have received several prophecies in my life and the first thing i do i try to try to decipher them uh, what does god mean so it should not happen in my enthusiasm i should miss praise the lord hallelujah so it's very important so this is the year of preparation what year of preparation and the first preparation you know before we go into the uh, four parts which we started last sunday there are two beautiful preparation i could i can say pre preparation praise the lord <laughs> you know and those two pre preparations are praying in tongues first is prayers prayers and prayers and praying in tongues is so vital praying in tongues is so vital nobody can say that oh uh, i feel bored when i pray in tongues no you have to make it a priority in your life praying in tongues because this is where the secret lies praise the lord hallelujah sometimes when you tell people to pray they pray and they get tired i said i get perplexed i said how could you pray in tongues and get tired can god help me to understand why people pray in tongues and get tired so the point i'm trying to drive so if somebody says that he was praying in tongues and got tired perhaps he did not even on the button his mind was not on the lord it is not possible for you to pray in tongues and get tired but bible says whosoever prays in tongues emboldens himself charges himself what charges himself so after praying you cannot be tired these are two contrary statements praise the lord there are a bundle of contradiction praise the lord so nobody can say i prayed and got tired i said you got you prayed and you got tired you don't to pray in tongues because bible says whosoever prays in tongues speaketh mysteries what he speaketh mysteries can we show some chinese beautiful thank you so do you understand anything do you understand? you know what is written once you finish the service take 1 million dollar from pastor isaac i'm telling you is it in like that <laughs> but do can you read it now is it in there that once you finish the service meet me and take 1 million dollar now i have written this and you are seeing it will you come to my office to collect money you just read it and i did not tell you what it is will you come to my office to collect money will you come no why because it has no sense to you the very same thing happens when you don't pray in tongues when the opportunities comes to you they don't make sense to you when the good things come to you they don't make sense to you you can't recognize them and then you keep crying oh i didn't get any good thing but they came your way god is a good god he prepared goodies for you praise the lord but because your eyes were <laughs> not open so when the good came you could not recognize it when somebody prays in tongues he charges himself am i right now uh, suppose uh, these two are good friends and she got a very good idea and she wants to share with her but her phone is not charged can she share the idea tell me can you so when god wants to tell you something good and your spirit is not charged can god tell you something good there is no connection praise the lord why because you did not charge yourself you were not tuned 
you understand your frequencies were not there praise the lord praise the lord if your spirits are not charged when a good ideas are coming your spirit cannot trap it because there is no 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 preparation for it we did not charge your spirit so when it god spirit of god is giving good ideas you know every invention has a time why some invention were not done by christians because at that time christians who were supposed to do those invention were not charged enough i know what i'm talking i know i know what i'm talking so the very same thing with you good good songs can be coming to you good tunes can be coming to you at that particular moment god wants and you are not charged they pass you by they pass you by and then you are thinking what happened to me you just missed them why because you were not charged praise the lord there was no nothing you put to catch am i right you were not wise enough so that's why i'm going calling it pre preparation what i'm calling <laughs> pre preparation learn to speak in tongues more than ever praise the lord because you don't get what you want you only get what you prepare for did you hear me should i repeat what i say you don't get what you want you only get what you prepare for and there's so many people are you know they are um, uh, they are they are said the expectations are not met they say oh i wanted this god did not give me god does not give you what you want god gives you what you are prepared for praise the lord did you hear me hallelujah remember god called called moses when he was 40 years old but when did he start his ministry when he was prepared for it David was called to be a king at the age of 17 but when the kingdom was delivered into his hand when he became mature Jesus was called from the ministry from day 1 but when did he start his ministry at the age of 30 I read my bible and say how people miss these things day in day out can't they see it is in the bible praise the lord preparation is in the bible praise the lord so This is not a message year of preparation. It has to be your lifestyle about everything. Whatever you want to get, prepare for it. Ch- chances are it will come to you by free course. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Am I right? Can we say you don't get what you want but you get what you prepare for? Is it all right? So there will be no unfulfilled expectation. Praise the Lord. So before I pray and ask God which I have never done that always prepare for myself I prepare myself I want a promotion I will prepare myself in spite of asking the promotion because when I'm prepared promotion has no choice but to come to me praise the lord <laughs> If you want double excel size become double excel you will wear double excel praise the lord <laughs> Am I right you, you don't even have to you know they will be looking for you say you are double excel take my praise the lord Hallelujah. Then the second is Acts chapter twenty verse thirty-two. That is pre-preparation. Tells new neighbor pre-preparation. Pre-preparation. That's the right way to say. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of His grace, which is able to build you up. Beautiful. He says, "Now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of His grace, which is able to build you." Now let me give you an example. Now um, how do I do that? Okay. Suppose so these are two friends. Okay. This auntie is their mother. Uh for uh, uh, so she says to this girl, he said, "I'm giving you to Shweta which will pay your fees." You know me Shweta am I right? So so when Renuka needs fees, where she will go to? Shweta, am I right? Because auntie said, Renuka, I am giving you to Shweta, who will pay your fees. So if Renuka needs fees, where she will go? Shweta, am I right? Do you understand the scripture? He said, I command you to God and to the word of His grace, which is able to build you up. So, in this scenario, what happens? Shweta becomes the word of grace. Renuka is the one who needs promotion. 
So if she needs promotion, where she has to go? Am I right? And if she goes to Shweta, she gets what she wants. So what is saying that and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. So when you want to be built up, go to the word of his grace. Praise the Lord. Did you get it? When you want to build up, go to the word of his grace. But the moment you go to the word of his grace, the word of his grace will build you up. He gives you promotion. He gives you promotion. It's important. So many people say, oh, I want to move forward in my life. I say, go to the word of his grace. Praise the Lord. Get more word into your spirit. Promotion will come. Praise the Lord. It's so simple. So that is called pre-preparation. Praise the Lord. So let's go to the message. So there are four parts. We pastor said, first is prepare your heart to serve the Lord, which we spoke about. In this, when you are preparing your heart to serve the Lord, make sure you are available for the Lord. If you are not available for the Lord with all your talents, God can't use you. Praise the Lord. Don't be busy doing your own thing. Praise the Lord. It's important become available. Sometimes, you know, we, we don't even want a change. For example, you are working and your work demands you are there from Monday to Saturday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then you, your pastor wants to give you a responsibility which requires you to be available on Saturday by 5 p.m. And the first reaction of the people is, oh, Pastor, I have my job. I wouldn't have responded that way. When my pastor will be thinking to give you a responsibility, give me responsibility from 5 to 8, I will go home and pray, Lord, something has to happen in my job because the pastor wants to give me responsibility. I won't be telling pastor that I have a job. I will be telling my job, I have a pastor. Praise the Lord. <laughs> do you understand how, how to do life, how to live life? So that's what I will be doing. I won't come back to my pastor. Pastor, sorry, I'm on, not available. For what? I'm not that stupid. When pastor wants me, God wants me. Praise the Lord. How can I say no to God? Look at it. Do you know when church wants to give you responsibility and you are not available, you are saying no to God? This is the same God you will pray for. This is the same God you have denied. You know, God, I'm not available. I said, what? You. Thank God I have right attitude from day one. Praise the Lord. When my church wanted to do something, I will be the first one available. I will adjust my job. I adjust things, my things for God. Praise the Lord. I don't adjust God for my things. Because I understood the concept of God not the concept of God. I understood God very early enough. Praise the Lord. Who God is and how to deal with God. You don't say no to God. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor, you don't say no to God. Because saying no to God is the most stupid thing you can ever do. What else you want to do now? You said no to God. He said, God was telling me, I said no. I said, eh? how did you do that? He said, how did you do that? No, I didn't want it. What? what you are talking go and hear yourself praise the Lord how did you do that how did you get the societal instinct praise the Lord <laughs> but that's not you don't get uh, courage for this this is called suicide spiritual suicide is it not called don't you know Adam and Eve did the spiritual suicide hello you know uh, uh, perhaps you wouldn't have heard this way but since I'm a suicide campaigner I, I, I have different words for different things. For me, that was a spiritual suicide committed by Adam and Eve. I hope you agree. They themselves went to die. But God said, don't eat and you will live. If you eat, you will die. So these guys knew the repercussions. Went to eat. What is When you want to kill yourself, what is called? Suicide. <laughs> so it was suicide. They committed. It's spiritual suicide. Hallelujah. And so many people keep doing that till today. It's preacher suicide. God told me to do this and I said no. I said, wow, let me be away from you. <laughs> Who wants to die with you? Praise the Lord. What? 
you don't want to be associated with a sinking ship praise the lord who wants to ride this sinking ship hello talk to me do you want to ride this sinking ship so when somebody comes to me and say no god told me i don't want i say you you i should be away from <laughs> in my heart and i will make sure that i start cutting all my ties with you because you are a sinking ship praise the lord so that is called pre preparation what so this is the inside the preparation be available for the lord tell your neighbor be available he said be available okay so let's go to the second point what's the first point prepare your heart to serve the lord and second is what prepare for the house of the lord prepare for the house of the lord let's read first chronicles chapter 22 verses 11 to 14 only king james okay now my son the lord be with thee let me now my son the lord be with thee and prosper thou and build the house of the lord thy god as he had said of thee praise the lord okay next verse only the lord give thee wisdom and understanding say wisdom and understanding keep it in your mind we'll come back to that Only the Lord give thee wisdom and understanding, and give thee charge concerning Israel, that thou mayest keep the law of the Lord thy God. Okay, next verse. Then thou shalt prosper if thou takest heed to fulfil the statutes and judgment which the Lord charged Moses with concerning Israel. Be strong and of good courage; dread not, nor be dismayed. Praise the Lord. So this is David giving instruction to Solomon. This is David talking to Solomon. Praise the Lord. Next verse. Now behold in my trouble I have prepared for the house of the Lord and 100000 talents of gold and a 1000000 talents of silver and of brass and iron without weight for it is in abundance timber also and stone have I prepared and thou mayest add there too praise the Lord hallelujah so God told David David wanted to build a house for the Lord but God said you have shed much blood you won't build a house for me but your son will do that so now David did not have the opportunity to build the house but David's heart was perfect though he did not have the opportunity to build the house he prepared for it praise the lord hallelujah look at it he prepared for it he made preparation for it can you see it he said now behold in my trouble i have prepared for the house of the lord though he did not have the opportunity so you don't only do what you can do with your you know by yourself perhaps you have to prepare for others praise the lord hallelujah what we have today in christianity was prepared by others am i right none of us is 2000 not even 60 praise the lord so there are some other people who prepared for us so that we can see this time of rapture praise the lord hallelujah they themselves could not see it but we are the generation who is seeing that time praise the lord so they prepared for it david prepared for it praise the lord and look at the preparation Oh boy, and hundred thousand talents of gold. This hundred thousand talents of gold is equal equivalent to hundred billion dollar. Did you hear the figure? Hundred billion dollar. Nobody in the world has the hundred billion dollar. Not even the richest person. And a thousand thousand talents of praise the Lord. And the iron, sorry, timber and stone. You could not even measure it. Sorry, iron and brass and iron. you could not even weigh them praise the lord <laughs> hallelujah you could not even weigh them look at his preparation praise the lord and the most striking part of the preparation is in the first line can you read it only the first line behold in my trouble not in my abundance pastor i don't have money how can i give it's because you don't know the bible that day you know your bible look in the trouble the guy had money <laughs> not a small money praise the lord he said in my trouble not in my abundance when the things were not going right <laughs> then david prepared for the house of the lord and look at the preparation praise the lord hallelujah and this david did not come from a kingly lineage he had nothing you remember saul was running after his life so obviously all david had if little would have been seized from him am i right and look at the 400 people who came to david 
in the cave of Abdullah. Four hundred people in debt, in distress, had nothing. But this man had so much. And we are not talking about hundred years. Praise the Lord. If you look at the span in which David had this much of money, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. And that too in Old Testament, praise the Lord. <laughs> In Old Testament, where we did not have the Holy Spirit, praise the Lord. We did not have the ability to speak in tongues. We did not have the Word of God's grace. You know that. In the Old Testament, all we had the Word of God's law and condemnation. Praise the Lord. Bible says, "Great and truth came by Jesus Christ." <laughs> in that kind of negative circumstances, praise the Lord. David had so much. Praise the Lord. So don't give excuse to yourself, oh, pastor. You know, economy is going down. That's why. No, no, no. You don't know your Bible. That's the truth. Every other thing is insignificant. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you accept the truth, you can make adjustment according to the truth. Praise the Lord. Don't adjust the truth. Adjust yourself according to the truth. Did you hear me? Or many people want to adjust the truth itself. <laughs> don't adjust the truth. This is the truth. Adjust yourself. That you can have abundance no matter what the circumstances are. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Let's go to Ezra chapter 2 verses 68 to 69. Give me AMP and King James. Ezra 2 68 to 69. Are we there? And some of the chief of the fathers, when they came to the house of the Lord, which is at Jerusalem, offered freely for the house of God to set it up in His place. Offered freely, offered freely. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah! And you know, made voluntary contribution. AMP. Some of the heads of the fathers' household, extended families, when they arrived at the house of the Lord in Jerusalem, made voluntary contribution. They gave of their own will. Nobody was forcing them. Of their own will, that's what we are saying. Prepare for the house of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Of your own free will. Nobody has to tell you what to do. You should know by yourself what to do. Some of the when they arrived at the house of the Lord in Jerusalem, made voluntary contribution for the house of God to rebuild it on its foundation. Praise the Lord. Nobody asked their money. They were prepared in their hearts, voluntarily contribution. They were giving of their free will. Nobody forced them to do what they were doing. Their hearts were prepared, like David. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Nobody told David. God did not tell David to prepare. Am I right? God only told him, "You can't build the house." That's why I say, when God tells you, you can. You have to sit down and understand. So when God would have told David, "You can't build it," he said, "Okay." He said, "I can't build it, but at least I can prepare for it." That was his heart. Look at his heart, and no wonder David has been described man after God's own heart. Praise the Lord! I love him, man after God's own heart. God said not to build it. He said, "Okay, I can prepare for it." <laughs> That's a beautiful David, so wonderful. Praise the Lord. Next verse. They gave after their ability and to the treasure of the work, three score and one thousand drams of gold, five thousand pounds of silver, and one hundred priest garment. So when people say, "Oh, they gave of their free will," they must have given ten rupees. Look at what they give. Look at how much they gave of their own free will. And remember, these were the same people who were distressed, in debt, and demotivated. But because they could get hold of the scriptures, praise the Lord. They applied the principles, praise the Lord. Hallelujah! When you are working in a company, can't you have the dream to own the company, have your own company? That's what I am. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Hallelujah! They give according to their ability to the treasury of the work. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah! So they did not give, you know, 
chiller am i right some some free coins praise the lord hallelujah they gave substantial amount substantial amount why could they do that because they were preparing for it praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah let's go to exodus 36 Exodus 36 to 5 Then wrote Bezalel Oholiab and every wise hearted man in whom the Lord put wisdom and understanding praise the Lord say wisdom and understanding You remember we just read wisdom and understanding so I said we will come back to it Now they had to ask wisdom and understanding because they were not in the New Testament But in New Testament Jesus is our wisdom praise the Lord Holy Spirit has given us understand. So you don't start asking wisdom and understanding. So when you read the Old Testament be very careful what you are reading. That's why I'm very careful when I open Old Testament with you and you know try to give you right light so that you don't start praying the Old Testament prayer in New Testament. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So don't ask for wisdom and understanding. Jesus is your wisdom. Say so Jesus is my wisdom. I have understanding. that's all you have to do praise the lord so you are much more ahead of them isn't it in whom the lord put wisdom and understand to know how to work all manner of work for the service of the sanctuary according to all that god has commanded praise ah, i wish i had the time to measure on it let's move forward is huge next was and moses called bezalel and aholiab and every wise hearted man in whom heart the lord had put wisdom even everyone whose heart is stirred him up to come up unto the work to do it is stirred there was a you know their hearts were stirred up that's why i tell people when you got stirred up in the house of god don't leave that inspiration god will ask you the account of the inspiration you received by sitting in church you will give account of it because that that inspiration came from god when you were sitting in cell leaders meeting and uh, all of a sudden there was inspiration to have 1000 people in your cell that's god's god talking to you praise the lord babit it is god both to do and his both to do and will of his good pledge that's what is talking about god gives you inspiration praise the lord god gives you inspiration so when god gives inspiration keep keep it don't leave it don't say oh challenges came i can't do it no way Whatever God told me in 2003, I'm still at them, and I'm making sure what God told me in 2003, they all get completed. Praise the Lord before the rapture, because I know I will give account to the Lord. Praise the Lord. I can't tell him God because there were too much trouble. God said, "My son, what are you talking?" Okay, next verse. And they received of Moses all the offering which the children of Israel. had brought for the work of the service of the sanctuary to make it with all and they brought yet unto him free offerings every morning what is the meaning of every morning can i may i know what is the meaning of every morning daily what they brought daily hallelujah we are not stupid and they continued to bring him free will offerings every morning can you see in amp free will offer nobody was telling them nobody was forced they were inspired of the holy ghost praise the lord hallelujah can you see this they were inspired so church don't have to say we have this need no if you are in sync you will know what to do praise the lord hallelujah you will be stirred up by the spirit at home praise the lord and don't when those inspiration come don't disregard those voices you understand but this is where the life is praise the lord praise the lord when he asked abraham to offer isaac did abraham had any other offering he only had isaac but at that time there was a offering praise the lord do you remember these are beautiful things in the bible look at it he was offering isaac he has his knife up to the neck of the child and god said don't touch this child and bible says immediately there was a heifer or some or ram there was a ram there there was nothing before but because god said 
don't kill this boy and the rule was when the altar has been prepared altar cannot be closed without giving the offering god's will is god's will praise the lord <laughs> oh boy hallelujah are you with me if you know these things your life will be sweet your life will be sweet nothing god tells you you know will be big to you praise the lord even god tells you you have to buy whole india i say yes lord your will is your bill <laughs> your will is your show me the way lord that's what you will be talking and you will be excited don't you remember what david said he said out of the abundance you gave me i give you back praise the lord <laughs> i didn't know that scripture for quite some time so whenever i was giving to the lord i will feel so i said lord i am only giving what you have given me and you know i will give the offering but i will, i kept doing it for some time unless i came across the scripture i said lord thank god i was thinking right like david i am telling you i did not call for offerings in my church for at least 6 month unless one day spirit of god said what are you doing i said what did i do sir he said you are not calling for offering i said why you have given me everything he said what about you what about them if they don't give how will they get blessed tell them to give offering i said okay i didn't ask for offerings because my idea is not to take your offering and run the church when god told told me to run the church i know god's will is god's bill praise the lord <laughs> so offerings my eyes are not on the offering to run my god to, to run god's church praise the lord hallelujah is him to decide where, how he wants to provide praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord so i hope you like it let's read okay no next verse was four can you read 1 2 made was five today 30 minutes is was spent in this and they spake unto moses saying the people bring much more than enough there was no lack much more than enough for the service of the work much more than enough that's how god works praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord so this is the year of preparation and you have to prepare for the house of the lord hallelujah if you're watching our program for the first time and you're yet to give your life to christ this can be beautiful beginning for you just say this prayer after me believing from your heart and jesus will be the lord of your life and all the beautiful things you heard just now they will be yours in Christ Jesus so wherever you are close your eyes and say this prayer after me with your own mouth say dear lord god i believe in jesus christ the son of the living god i believe that he died on the cross to save me and he raised him on the third day from dead and he is alive forevermore today i invite jesus christ the son of the living god to come into my heart to be my lord and my savior i confess from my mouth jesus christ son of the living god is my lord and my savior and my god from today i'm saved by faith i receive the life of god into my spirit today thank you father for saving my soul in jesus name amen if you just did this prayer we want to tell you god heard your prayer and you are indeed saved i details on the screen do let us know what god has done for you and you are receive jesus as your lord and savior today before we go i will pray for you father in the name of jesus i pray for each one who has just given their life to christ i pray that the name of jesus be named upon them forever yes no demon fresh dot of hell can touch them in the name of jesus devil has no claim over their life they are blessed in everything they do oh lord Thank you Father. I bless them by your spirit, by your wisdom, by your understanding. Thank you Father. And in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the time to give our tithes and offerings and seeds. Uh we welcome our choir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Life is in you. My strength. It's in you. 
Let's pray for the offering. Father, in the name of Jesus, we say thank you to give the opportunity to bring our tithes, our offerings, and seeds unto you, Lord. They're sanctified by your spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Lord, multiplication is at work on them. We invoke your blessings upon them. And we proclaim to take your kingdom forward. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So this is the announcement time. Tell your neighbor, announcement time. Uh, I, I can call it prove your love time. <laughs> because this is the action time. Praise the Lord. So the first is, we are having these 150 days of prayers. Praise the Lord. And if you're not a part of it, be from the day, prove your love. Praise the Lord. Because this is what God has asked us to do. This is not the prayer. We say, Lord, give me this, give me this. This is the prayer we pray for the souls of the people. And so, this is the love we have for them. Praise the Lord. Then, we have 36 online churches in 22 languages and then 14 children churches. Make sure you use them. You know, they are in different languages and they can bless the lives of people. Praise the Lord. Then, if you have not done your foundation school, please do so today. Join the cell system if you are not a part of it. We still have the special opportunity to sow our seeds if you have not done so please continue to do so. Now, the, another opportunity has been added. Earlier, we had two campgrounds. 
healing school we are showing we are showing special seeds you know that we are coming to the business end of the year october if we finish our year uh, calendar year as a ministry so we must do what we haven't done praise the lord this is the time to thank god just stand up on your feet by lifting up your hands bless him thank him for the message you have heard thank him for the inspiration clarity of the purpose which has come to you thank him and in jesus name amen may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore in jesus name amen surely his mercies and mercy goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever in jesus name amen thank you the word works and you can add the love works praise the lord thank you subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon like comment and share thank you and god bless you